I'll start the news with an update on our Mitoli Pasito filly. She was born a year and a half ago. Here she is a day or two old. And here she is now at Blackburn Farm where she was born in Kentucky. Our current club members, and there are over 90 of them, are already buying into this Matoli filly. Just click the link above to go to the website to join. And there's also a link to a video with more details about this filly. There's just one fee to join, no monthly bills, and you will be a member of the racing club you can visit us at Santa Anita you can visit the horses at the farm in Kentucky so just click on the link to the website and click on the link to the video and you'll get all the information you need Irresistible Force raced on the ninth. That's her in the three hole in the red silk. Our filly went off at 25 to 1. She paid $19.80 to place and the exacta was $44.40. So I hope you guys got a little bet down on this filly. I'm sorry we didn't win. Would have been enormous, but still not bad. We knew she was going to get stuck on the lead because there was no no one in there with any real speed. So we knew we were going to get stuck there. And Drayden Van Dyke, our jockey, uh, did a great job of controlling the pace. And in the stretch run, he had a duel with Frankie Dettori, one of the best riders in the world, known for his strong stretch drive. The horse that uh, was on our outside there in the blue silks was coming off two wins in a row and we just got nipped from a horse on the outside and we ended up finishing second. This was the first time the force ran a mile distance. Her previous races were under a mile and this was only her second race back after a break. So we're looking for a better performance next time with a little more stamina built in from this longer race. Our three-year-old Omaha Beach filly, Wicked Desire, continues her training. Nice four and a half furlong breeze today, and she still has another four to six weeks before she's ready to run. You got her? Yeah. Yes, yes. Flying. See what she does at the top of the turn. Come up that hill. Come on, girl, dig in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. She's getting tired. And this was a solid workout, 48.2 seconds, just what we were looking for. She dug in. Got a little tired, then got more. Yeah, just under 48.7. Yeah, she, she did. You'll be able to see it. Hector really likes And here it. is Irresistible yeah, Force. She's going to go for a, a gallop today. This is the first day that they've allowed gallops on the new synthetic training track. And the force has been jogging on this track for two weeks now. She seems to really love it. And this is her first gallop, one of the first horses to use this track at a gallop. And uh, she seems really comfortable. Beautiful long stride, nice and easy. This track is very easy on the horses. Our rider says they just float on it. You can't feel them hit the ground. So we're going to use it extensively as a nice safe tool for our conditioning and fitness maintenance.
Sango Sango, our two-year-old Metoli filly. She's doing really well. She's galloping with other horses, uh, other two-year-olds. They can't uh, go out on the track, these youngsters, until late in the morning when the traffic dies down. Um, they're still going to school. They're still learning what it's all about on the big track with all the distractions and horses going both ways and lots of traffic. But uh, she's doing really well. This whole group is doing really uh, a nice job on the track now. And... Uh, we're lucky to have a good group like this to work with. That's the news this week. I'll report back to you next week. Thanks for watching and good luck at the races. Congo. Okay. Okay. A little rough start. Hi.